As we go about our daily lives, all our senses combine to inform our reality. And on our computers, sight and sound combine to create convincing virtual worlds. Now at WPI, the Whistler Polytechnic Institute, Dr. Robert Lindemann has another piece for the puzzle. His so-called Tactivest adds the sense of touch to our virtual repertoire. It's very immersive. Um, until you really experience it yourself, there's nothing quite like it. It really is like being in the space. Um, you can still see in peripheral vision, you can still see the outside world. But really, since what's dead ahead of you is the game, uh, it really refocuses your sight. And uh, you really have to adjust to it. It's, uh, it's very, very immersive. So the Tactivest is actually made up of a number of pieces. Because humans come in different shapes and sizes, what we've done is constructed the vest so that it's adjustable. What Eric's wearing is simple yet ingenious. 16 standard pager motors are wired together, attached to neoprene. The pieces of neoprene fit together to form an adjustable vest, ensuring that all the motors remain in contact with Eric's body. In traditional video games, if you run into something, you might hear a thud. But if you're wearing the Tactivest, vest, you'll feel the impact. And if you just brush against the wall, you'll feel that differently. What we want to be able to do is to have Eric be able to interact with a keyboard. And it hooks onto a holster, so he can rest his hand near his side and he can interact with the keyboard. So now what we have is we have vision, we have sound, and we have touch integrated into one framework. For now, Eric's tethered by cables connected to the keyboard and visual display. Making them wireless will be relatively simple. Then he'll be free to roam anywhere. As we start to get bombarded more and more with more and more information, um, one of the things I'm looking at is kind of offloading um, the visual sense onto uh, other senses. And we see this already in, in uh, cell phones that use have a vibrate mode. And so one of the things I'm looking at is there more information that we can give uh, in terms of using the sense of touch as opposed to using visuals or audio. And since the skin is the body's largest organ, it makes sense to utilize its ability to provide feedback. You can wear something in different parts of the body and it won't interfere with other things you're doing, so it won't block your vision. So you can still use your vision, your hearing for other things, and vibration or touch can be used um, without occluding or getting in the way of, of other things that you're doing. And so what we want to do is to figure out... Lindemann teaches students enrolled in a four-year interactive media and game development program. They're working with the C4 gaming engine, customizing its code to run the Tactivest. The C4 takes advantage of the capabilities of the higher-end graphics boards available on the market today. What we wanted to do is to find um, a platform for, uh, for providing visual feedback that was very high-end, um, but also allowed us to have access to the source code to add, um, to add our support for the sense of touch. Well, I'm along the wall of the bridge and I'm walking. And as I walk along the edge, I can get a vibration on my right arm and right shoulder where I might collide with the wall in real life. Just by coming into contact with it and getting the vibration, I know I've hit that border and I can't go any farther. You don't really even need to think about it. Uh, it's just, just like touch. The Tactivest has caught the eye of the US military. It's developing versions to configure virtual training environments, such as a building where hostages are held. Commanders can guide soldiers through the buildings or physically remind them that they should be looking for the enemy in all directions. The Tactivest is only the beginning. Lindemann's been working with colleagues in Japan to add taste and smell to the virtual world. Imagine parents sending their kids off to college so they can play video games. But all this has a very practical side. Yeah, so um, that's one of the questions that we get a lot, uh, mainly from parents. Is, is my kid going to come to your school and play video games for four years? So what we say is um, your child will go through a four-year program and it will be focused on interactive media and game development. When they come out um, on the other end or when they go to do internships or go to do some of their projects, 
they will be seen as um, computer scientists or artists, um, as well as game developers. It's very useful.